Hi guys, this is Mike at tabletbuy.com and today we're going to take a quick look at the ASUS Pad Transformer with the latest Android update, Android 3.2. First of all, let's double check to see if we have Android 3.2 on this one. Go to About and you can see there's Android 3.2 in here. Update is very easily, you just have to uh, have the, enough battery life left on your tablet and uh, it should be available over the air and takes like a couple of minutes and a restart in order to finish. Now this particular update doesn't bring that many changes uh, as the previous update Android 3.1 did. Uh, most of it, uh, it, uh, it it's here to make the tablets a little bit faster uh, than they were before and uh, the update, the official uh, the official notes of the update say, say that uh, this one offers uh, optimization for a wider range of tablets. So theoretically more tablets should work uh, even better, more Android tablets should work even, even better with less, uh, with less bugs and less freezes. Uh, right now the ASUS Pad Transformer and uh, I believe the Motorola Xoom are the only one to have this particular update but pretty soon all the other tablets should have uh, should have Android 3.2 as well. Besides this optimization there are just two major uh, improvements. First of all you get to sync uh, media content from an SD card. So the tablets that have an SD card like this one which has a micro SD card uh, you can now use to, to sync uh, media files directly from those SD cards and load them in your apps. For instance, you have an SD card with photos and with uh, video files. You don't uh, have to copy those files on your tablet anymore. You, can, uh, you just have to insert the SD card and then open the, your, uh, your movie playing app and you, can, you will be able to load those apps directly from the card. And there's also this particular app comp uh, called uh, Compatibility Zoom for fixed sized apps. And what this one does is uh, allow uh, apps that are designed for smaller screen devices to work better on 10 inch tablets. And I'm going to show you exactly what, does, what this means in a second. First of all, we should go on the market and we're going to download an app that we know it's made for smaller screens and it's called Speed Test. Here it is. Let's install this one. What this particular feature does, it detects when applications are made for smaller screen devices and allows them to be better displayed on big screens like this one. I'm going to show you in a second what exactly it does. First of all, let's wait for this to install. Seems like it's taken a couple of seconds. Okay, we managed to install speed test and let's go ahead and run it. And you can see that it will usually start like this in this particular mode. And you have this small icon here. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you. So you have this particular small icon here on the status bar that will allow you to use the different options, zoom to fill screen and stretch to fill screen. Same thing will be noticeable in other apps that are designed for smaller screens. For instance, let me go ahead and open TweetDeck. Here it is. You also have the compatibility. And on smaller screen, if you want it to look like this, you can have it like this. Or you can have it stretch to fill the screen like uh, you're going to need on a tablet like this one. Okay, should also mention a couple of other changes. Theoretically, uh, based on the tests uh, I've, uh, I've had on this one, you, you get a little bit uh, better performances, especially in terms of uh, GPU, uh, in terms of GPU. Uh, let me go ahead and open mobile player. I'm going to show you that this one can easily run a bunch of different types of content right now. For instance, we have a 1080p WMD player. And you can see that it runs this fairly smooth. Still can't run 1080p MKV files. 
because it can't run them in harder mode you have to use soft decoding and in this case you will be able to see that there are some frame skips and some sluggish performances but the world it definitely feels faster than it was before of course so running YouTube clip works flawlessly YouTube and let's try a 1080p clip hmm. 1080p this one the big bunny animation it should load quite fast and it should play it flawlessly here we go Seeking is also a lot faster right now than it was before. So the fruity performances are a little bit better. Okay, uh, what also happens with Android 3.2 on the SUC pad transformer is uh, the fact that it brings uh, a couple of changes for the the trackpad I fortunately I don't have the docking station but uh, as you know the docking station offers a keyboard and the trackpad until now only a couple of a uh, couple of multi gestures used to work on this particular trackpad so right now all the gestures you usually perform on the touch screen like finger scrolling and multi touch and uh, pinch to zoom there will be now available for the trackpad you can uh, perform this while using the trackpad and this is something that could come quite handy if you like to use the docking station a lot. And also another small change is the fact that uh, when uh, you get uh, the tablet connected to the docking station, uh, the cursor no longer looks like a mouse cursor from Windows, it's a circle, something like this. So these are tiny changes, but they're meant to make uh, the overall experience a little bit better on the ASUS pad transformer. I should also add that some transformer owners noticed a couple of problems with their tablet after this particular update. Uh, and there were mainly two problems. First of all, uh, the, the transformer uh, had a poor Wi-Fi signal and it also tend to disconnect a lot. Particularly, I don't have this, pr this uh, problem. You can see that I have full... Uh, uh, strength for my Wi-Fi connection right here and uh, theoretically uh, it works quite okay so I don't have this problem on my unit also they noticed a couple of uh, problems when uh, trying to stream uh, YouTube content and I saw I showed you a YouTube clip before but I'm also going to show you another clip right now and this is one I'm going to try Let's see how it works. Theoretically, if there was a problem with this clip, it should uh, it should make the uh, device buffer a lot without playing it uh, nicely. Doesn't seem to happen this thing. Let's try another thing, an 1080p clip, and this one, the Nvidia Pure Video HD test. Let's see what's going on doesn't seem to have any buffering uh, problems on this particular option on this particular uh, version of the SUC pad transformer okay so there's one more thing I should add um, you know there this issue with the with the docking station whenever typing uh, something trying to type something and accidentally uh, hitting the trackpad the cursor will jump all crazy they haven't had an option to lock the to lock the trackpad when not using it and that would have been something quite nice these were pretty much all the changes uh, you got uh, on uh, on the android 3.2 for tablets and uh, as you saw there aren't uh, this wasn't a, there aren't many changes this wasn't a major update like the previous one was the 3.1 however it's nice to see that uh, uh, Android is working on developing Honeycomb and they're not just uh, letting things uh, off until they will launch uh, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich later this year. So overall right now I believe that the SUC pad transformer feels a little bit 
uh, faster and overall use is a little bit smoother and uh, that's uh, thanks to all the updates uh, that uh, it got uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks including Android 3.1 and uh, Android 3.2 Okay, for more details about this update and other details on tablets in, in general, you should go on the site on tabletbibe.com. Thank you for watching, that was Mike with the ASUS e Transformer.